Well, the noises Kenley Jansen heard the last time he left the mound, booze from the Dodger Stadium crowd for the first time in his career. And the noises that he heard as he came in here were encouraging ones, as if to say, we know we need you, big fella, from a sellout crowd on the edges of their seats, watching a 2-1 Dodger lead, the heart of the Yankees order coming up. Yankees today two for five on fastballs only one for an awful lot on off speed pitches. So what does Kenley go with. Got bullish with the cutter his last time. He starts D.D. Gregorius with one that misses inside ball one. He struck out Randall Grichik on three cutters for the first out of the ninth inning the other night and he says kind of fooled himself into thinking that he could just stick with just that. And he pumped cutter after cutter after cutter into Rowdy Telez, who eventually homered on one. Here's a 1 0. There's strike one. 94 on the hands with good cutting action. One one pitch up and in missed his spot badly that time Smith had the target set away and Jansen behind Gregorius two and one. Looked like he was trying to stay behind that one throw more of a four seamer or a two seamer away and just pulled it. Same miss. Trying to get it to tail away, but pulling it in. A 3 1 from Jansen to Gregorius. Lays a bunt down, foul, and it's 3 and 2. Two home runs yesterday, one a granny, but here in the ninth down by one and a 3 1 count, a home run hitter's count. He goes for the almost double with a firm bunt down the third baseline that ends up just foul. A couple of natives of Curacao. Just run in the same circle, playing the same little league fields. Head to head open in the ninth in a 2 1 Dodger Yankee game. 3 2. Bunce again, and it's foul and strike three. What is he doing? A gift to Kenley Jansen and the Dodgers, and one away in the ninth. If you're confident you can get the bunt down, 3 1, but it should have been base hit or foul. This one's got to be base hit and fair. He carved off too much in a very risky count. A guy who homered twice yesterday against a closer who's had a hard time keeping it in the yard. Bunts it foul for the first out of the ninth inning and a high strike called on Glaber Torres. I think the frustration of the 3 1 bunt got to him on the 3 2 bunt. He said, If I was that close, I know I can do it on the next one, but I made the same mistake. It's an instant replay. Yeah. Here's an 0 1. Torres takes it away. There's a slider. Starters have time to make an adjustment. Closers, no time. They have to be out in front of what the hitter is thinking. If they're going to fool them, they can't wait until somebody gets a big fly off them to make the adjustment. Wow. It's like Christmas so far with the gifts Kenley's getting. 
A 3-2 bunt from a home run hitter and two very high strikes. On a guy who has been out of his mind lately. Labor Torres has nine home runs in his last 12 games, but in a 1-2 hole. Here it comes. Ground ball right side and through for a base hit. Labor Torres beats the shift with a one out single and the Yankees put the tying run aboard against Jansen in the ninth. Kenley can't switch the strategy because the slider gives up a weak ground ball hit. He's got to stick with his philosophy of pitching. One on one out the hitter is Gardner. <laughs> Left handed hitter they play him to pull. Should make for a bit of an awkward double play turn. Labor Torres four steals this season. Takes his lead as Jansen gets ready. First one. High ball one. Couldn't lay off a ball and a strike. <laughs> Dodgers two, Yankees one, ninth inning. Jansen's one one pitch. Ground ball smothered by Beatty. He tosses the Jansen wildly. Torres hangs on at second. So first and second with one gone. The challenge gets bigger for Kenley Jansen. Two sliders, two weak ground balls. But it's going to turn into two hits. And now the pressure builds. Great effort by Beatty, but that ball trickling away from him turned that from an out into a hit. Time running to scoring position. Go ahead, run aboard. And with one out in the ninth inning, Gio Oshella climbs in. Here's a visit from Will Smith. In the middle infielders as well. Turner and Muncie up there. Well, it's always a topic of discussion when Kenley has a man out on second base. They talk about location, setting up late. They talk about what set of signs they're going to use. He does not like it when there's guys behind him. So much so that he has blocked intentionally to get him to third. Obviously not a situation where he'd do that here. There's Shella who is 0 for 3. Grounded softly off the hands. Turner goes to second just in time. Hard slide from Gardner. No time is called, I don't think. Now they do say time was called. Glaber Torres went running home. None of the umpires had signaled time. 
Muncy was taken out by Gardner. It'll be very interesting how they unwind this one. Gabe Morales saying he called time. I don't understand how in the world he would call time from behind home plate. Aaron Boone wants him to get on the phone and I don't know if you can challenge whether or not time was called. The training stuff out there taking a look at Muncie. They're saying Aaron Boone is challenging whether Brett Gardner was safe or out. Mm, okay. The ball arriving into Muncie's glove. It's bang bang with Gardner's foot going to the bag. Got it. It's very close. Is, is the ball touching the letter? Time is called right there as he sees Torres coming home. So that's a funky one. That's really funky that he would do it on his own. The Dodgers were asking for time. He's safe. He's safe. This is going to be overturned. The bases are going to be loaded with one out. Three weak ground balls. And it could be bases loaded, one out. And in terms of the slide in second, that is a legitimate slide for Gardner. Yes, there was contact, but he fulfilled the demands of the rule. Make a bona fide slide. Don't initiate contact by changing your path, which he didn't. Make contact with the ground first. Touch the ground in front of the base first. And he did all those things. And we're getting word now that the Dodgers are actually challenging as well, challenging that rule we just referenced. But again, I don't see anything in there that would lead to a violation of the slide rule from Gardner. You know, I understand the challenge, but I did not see anything that was egregious. Now they've just made the official announcement that the runner was out, but that's retroactive. That's not a result of the review. This is definitely safe. Now, the one thing is if they determine that he reached up and interfered with his hands. He is safe at second, and there is no interference call. And so it will indeed be bases loaded with one out. Dave Roberts is arguing the fact that okay yes he's safe at second but we should still be able to make an attempt to throw the runner out at first. Dave Roberts is back on the field. And the crew chief and the third base umpire Ron Culpa. Aaron Boone is on the field too and he might want to ask about the timeout call. Dave Stern. Yep. It's like when you go to one parent and ask for something they tell you no so you go to the other one see if you get a different answer. Dave went to the third base umpire Culpa didn't like the answer and so now to Gabe Morales at home. Mom and dad said no. And the bases are loaded for the Yankees in a 2 1 game in the ninth inning. Kelly Jansen climbs the hill again with a sellout crowd watching him. And Mike Talkman coming up. Base hit, base hit, fielder's choice. Bases loaded. Strike one. After talk minutes, Sanchez.
Smith makes sure that he can go out there with everything we've seen in this inning. Want to be sure that you're not violating the visit rule. Dodgers have two remaining. They are having trouble getting on the same page, and you can understand why when you're taking a guy who mainly throws his cutter all the time and mixes in the two seamer, the four seamer, the slider every once in a while. But right now, Kenley Jansen kind of changing his strategy and how he will pitch hitters. It's a little harder to get on the same page with a catcher. The 0 1 pitch. Punched foul, and it's 0 and 2 on Talkman. He's gone to the well twice. Two cutters up and in. Remember, he continued to go with that pitch and later regretted it after the blown save the other night. Oh, two. He struck him out. Tailing one away from Talkman. Two gone. New strategy, great execution, and 94 to the outer edge and up. This is well done. In, in, cut, cut, away with some tail. Wow, that was an awesome pitch. And wow, this is good. Edge of your seat, peeking through your fingers, hands in front of your face. One run game, two gone, ninth inning, bases loaded for Gary Sanchez. Strike one. Trying to go two seamer up and in, get a tail in there, pulled it a little bit, but still got away with it. Players weekend in a Yankee uniform brought Kenley Jansen to 96 miles an hour. And brings Dodger Stadium to its collective feet. on a couple weak singles and an overturned call that led to the fielder's choice. Jansen a strike away from sneaking out. Ball one. Set for the one two. He struck him out. And he sneaks out of the bases loaded jam to lock down a two one win over the New York Yankees. Gonsolin gets the win. Kelly gets a hold. Baez gets a hold. Jansen gets a save. And boy, what a save it was from weakly hit ground balls and a fielder's choice that loaded the bases. Two big strikeouts to end this game. Awesome job from Kenley Jansen.